Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Kaifahalukum aliau. My name is Dr. Norimah Ramli from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, UPSI, Malaysia. Today, I would like to share with you one of my innovation product with the name of Pi OLS Note. Uh, this is the innovation that I would like to share with you today in my next video. Okay, see you in the next video. Before I go to introduction, let me introduce uh, my members of innovations. Uh, the first one is uh, Dr. Nur Asiba, followed by Dr. Asmawi, Dr. Emelda, Dr. Farhan Rajoha, Dr. Nur Asiba Kakmun, Dr. Elina Tawang, Dr. F uh, Gan Peta, uh, Mr. Muhammad Arif Kamal Zaman, and Mr. Muhammad Nasruddin Abu Rao. The learning process that involves research is often seen as something difficult and also tiring among the students. This is because students describe learning research in higher education level uh, will involving many processes that are difficult and also complex to understand. As problem statement, data literacy through the application of language programming like developing the decision making mechanism or even algorithm using code and machine learning system for example become main focus in most of industries today thus coincide with the current need to ensure that the student in UPSI and even in other university will get the benefit and innovation name by Pi OLS note has been produced a learning method using the Pi OLS node in econometric module has been introduced in an effort to help to facilitate the student's understanding process through learning innovation. The objective of the project is actually in twofold. The first one is to understand each stages in developing a simple uh, code script. The second one is to use the script, the Python script, uh, to understand the economic issue. The advantages of Pi OLS. Firstly, uh, the value added using this innovation is able to make difficult thing much easier. In other words, by using this innovation product, it's most probably will encourage students to understand much easier by using the approach. The approach is actually using step-by-step -step mechanism from uh, having the data, how to include the data in the Python and so on until the end of the process. Secondly, creating the learning process by using language programming much interesting and also thirdly, to fulfill the need by the industry. We have outlined three purposes. The firstly is to uplift the skill of the student. Secondly, a leading language for the manipulating and analyzing data, making uh, its valuable knowledge among the students as well, not only in economics student but also across many others field. Thirdly, uh, to uplift uh, the existing knowledge and also to overcome the situation with the industry nowadays need the student with a high skill. So by having this skill, will uh, upgrade the economic student among other students across the university. Target user of innovation product is actually have been aligned in three. The main three of the target user is including the economic student and also other students from other fields that maybe need to use this approach for their study and also for the research. And moreover, uh, the practitioner also the second target for this innovation. Um, not only that, the government is also uh, you need to use this innovation in term to upgrade their decision making under the department. Uh, at the end of the syllables, the student is expected to be able to generate the simple skill on coding using Matplotlib library in Python. Secondly, the result of this innovation learning method has also opened up space for the student to produce quality problem solving approach by utilizing the Python language programming. The code is able to be referred to enhance society well-being. Thirdly, the learning method through this innovation product by using the econometric module is in line with the Malaysia government Madani policy in producing intellectual generation for better life. 
not only that, the learning approach through this learning also adopt the problem-based learning that is PBL, the game-based learning that is G, uh, GBL, as well as challenge-based learning in terms to innovate the coherent that will achieve the FOTCH SDG goal for quality education for all. To my observation, uh, some of the students are able to produce good articles by using this innovation product. Um, because uh, by using this approach, the students are able to adapt the Python programming in order to produce uh, multiple regression uh, result that can be reported in the article, then can be published, can be referred by other readings.